Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Here's my breakdown of the NBA Finals Game 6 between the Suns and the Bucks. Feel free to skip around the video using the chapter markers below in the description. Let's get into it. Giannis was spectacular as he put the Bucks on his back, recording 50, 14 and 5 blocks as well as making 17 of 19 from the foul line as he helped the Bucks capture their first title in 50 years. Their last title was when Kareem was still known as Lou Alcindo, back in 1971. Middleton and Holiday were both quiet on offense, but Portis picked up the slack off the bench with 16 in 22 minutes. For the Suns, CP had 26 points, 5 assists, and in stretches he had to carry the Suns offensively as Booker had a terrible game, shooting 36% from the field including 0 of 7 from 3. Ayton finished with 12 points, 6 rebounds, battling foul trouble and struggling on offense as he could not finish around the rim. Unstoppable Giannis Let's talk about some of the buckets Giannis scored on his way to 50 points. Let's have a look here. Now we talked about this before in my previous videos. When Giannis gets a hit of steam all right, and he's driving downhill at you, Right, you need to pick up the ball above the foul line. If you're too deep below the foul line or you're in the pain, you're in trouble, right? As we see here, too easy for Giannis. All right, next one. Again, it's the same thing. He gets downhill. Look at where Aiton is standing. He's below the foul line. He's in big trouble. Another easy two points for the Greek freak. So, other than picking up the ball too late or not even building a wall which, they, which the Suns were doing in the previous games, right? Aiton was also left on an island too many times and Giannis got way too deep in the paint. Right, let's have a look here. So he gets into the paint. Let's stop it right here. Now, he is field of vision right now is here he's driving towards the right side of the hoop or going across the lane now the person who should help in this case should be Booker right but he doesn't help too easy he's so close to the paint uh, so close to the hoop easy two points Right, next one. Here we see the we see the buck swing the ball around and I want you to pay attention to here, right? So Bridges is guarding Giannis. Right? And again he falls asleep. He lets Giannis get great position inside. And he's too late, he's too close to the hoop. And sure enough, he dunks it right here. Now it's something I talked about in the previous videos. You cannot fall asleep. You need to be focused 100% when you're trying to guard him in the pain. If you make a wrong move or you don't stay committed, you're not fronting 100%, he gets the ball, you're in trouble. The only thing you can do is foul. And in this game, he was making all his free throws. So I, I don't really know what you can do to guard him. Maybe that was the game plan for the Suns. I don't know. Maybe this, the game plan was to let Giannis get his points and try and shut down everybody else. So the score was tied at 77 apiece going into the fourth. I thought Coach Monty didn't trust his, his bench this game. Cameron Payne and Kaminsky both played well, but he only played them about 10 minutes each. Craig only got one minute of game time. The Suns looked very tired going into the, final, into the final moments of the game and could not hit their open shots. So there you have it. Big congrats to the Bucks for winning the title. Well deserved. They outplayed the Suns the last four games. Now I got a special request to include Bobby Portis right here in this clip. It was kind of funny. 
he <laughs> he didn't agree with the foul and he started running down the court. Now hey, shout out to Bobby Portis, man. He flees my Knicks last season and look at him now, an NBA champion. So inspirational. <laughs> Drop a comment down below. Do you think the Bucks can become a dynasty? Their key players are all under contract for the next few years. Like, subscribe for more future breakdowns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.